when I first got involved in this, it was because an evangelist came and saw me and he said, I do a lot of work in schools and nine out of 10 students are saying, why are you bothering telling us about Jesus Christ? We know Adam and Eve aren't true. And their logic was millions wow. of years of fossils prove evolution. The lecturer has said so. The teacher has said so. The textbook has said so. And he said to me, you're Mr. Geologist. You're Mr. Science. What do I say? And so I <laughs> said, Lord, you better help me find out what to say. <laughs> so we're saying then really that a fossil is, is almost really a gospel tract in a sense. Uh, because it's a, it's a record there of, of the flood. Well, it's a record of, A, the brilliance of God as yes. the creator who made things to produce after their kind. And secondly, you only get fossils when they're buried real fast. And I brought a lot along to show today. Normally, I carry them in my pockets, but the first lot are too big for me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Excellent. before we get into seeing some of these pictures, you are a geologist. That's what you got your degree in. And yeah, you actually... I, I trained in geology and I trained in education, so I've done the gamut and wandered around the globe for the past 30 years digging up dinosaurs and and fossils of this that and everything else including my favorite polystrate trees. Wow. And you weren't always a creationist either. No, no, I was uh, at university before I even began to doubt the theory of evolution. Wow. And it was really the textbooks. We had a textbook by Professor Carter, and I keep telling people this, that uh, Carter, professor from Oxford, you know, not the Oxford, Mississippi, the, the real one. You know. <laughs> the official one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, he would tell us that, you know, here's all the wonderful diagrams of how evolution is supposed to happen, but at the end of every chapter, you can't see this in the rocks. And wow. okay, one chapter, I can understand. Two, but I've got, I've got a, a pretty good memory and I would memorize the pages and the last page gave a summary of the whole book. And he said, once the fossils appear, they appear suddenly and they seem to be inherently stable. And I thought, well, if that's the case, why do I believe in evolution? Why like am I struggling? So I thought, I'm going to go and find out what all the evidence is. And well, you can see I've been finding evidence for quite a long time. <laughs> wow. and, and after 30 to 40 years of digging up rocks, Carter is right. The fossils show stability after their kind, in other words, just yeah. like the Bible says. And of course, we'll bring up rapid catastrophic burial in a moment as well. <laughs> 